Uh, this is Kevin Duclaron. It is um, Tuesday, December 9th, 2014. I am right now at Southwest Alder and Southwest 10th Avenue. Um, the library is right over there up the street. And I am directly across from uh, Jake's Grill. And I'm sitting here at the uh, train station. Um, I just... I was supposed to get on the train that just went by a few minutes ago, but um, I couldn't get on. The homeless was on there. Uh, they basically turned on me tonight. Um, I had written an article, um, the, the article that I guess article number 57 or 58 really pissed them off, and um, so um, they're out tonight, and they wanted, and they are out to get me, and. Um, basically, if you read the article, it's a complete explanation of what's been going on. Um, I was abused last night three times at the Portland Rescue Mission. Um, I, re I tried reporting it to the police this morning before leaving, but I couldn't. So I um, moved on with my day. Um, I came, uh, I went over to uh, Beaverton, used the computer there, and um, uploaded whatever video I had in, in photographs. Um, I came here um, back to Portland and uh, went to the Portland Rescue Mission to stay there for the night, but um, apparently they had something all planned out there. Um, I wasn't going to eat, I wasn't going to, for some reason or another, Melinda gave me a, a warning that I was going to be staying there for the night. Um, instead, I was going to be roaming the streets, which is exactly what I'm doing now. Um, they came out through an African-American. Um, I had a bag of food. Uh, he wouldn't allow me to sit next to him, and he somehow put his blood on the bag of food. I didn't notice it until I sat down. Um, so the friction was just, basically, the friction was just an opportunity for him to come out. That, the police department, I just spoke to those guys a few minutes ago. Um, the, uh, the police department. I just spoke to them a few minutes ago and filed a complaint against a man um, who uh, basically was harassing me verbally and started pissing inside of the loo um, while I was still using the bathroom. And he told me that he was going to smoke me out. Um, but anyway, let let me just get back to what I was saying. Um, he, um, this is an African American. I didn't recognize him. I don't know who he was. Um, he came out, he got really aggressive, I didn't sit next to him, I moved to another spot when I noticed the blood on my bag, um, I showed the blood to two different, um, to two other, um, workers at the mission, the guy that, uh, cleaned up the, uh, the, the bathroom last night, and another guy that I had seen several times at the, uh, um, Imago Day, um, basically, there's a train coming now, but I'm not going to get on that train either until uh, this video is over. Um, anyway, I, um, I, um, somehow or another, um, anyway, I, I, I left the, the, the Portland Rescue Mission and went over to the Union Gospel Mission to eat dinner. Um, when I got there, um, I waited online, got online, and then as I was about to be served, um, because all I wanted was um, the dessert and some milk, and uh, the same guy from the Portland Rescue jumped in front of me and um, was trying to cut me off. He did it on purpose. So apparently the people who had set him off or uh, had prepared him, they had different seats open, they had set it up, so they had different seats open, and was waiting in every seat that I went to, they basically said somebody was sitting there, so they, they, they set it up that way, um, so when it got to, to, to hit to where he was at, he basically just told me, you know, you know, you can't sit in the front here, you gotta sit in the back behind, again, they're addressing the issue of subordination, and I think the guy is, uh, is, was representing T.J. Ford, Thomas J. Ford from Nanuet High School, who was also representing Gabriel Franklin. 
um, and representing, I guess, supposedly the Queen of England. I don't know. I'm, I'm not with this thing that these people are doing. I don't understand their mindset or their mentality, and I don't know what the problem is. So, anyway, um, it became a catastrophe at the Union Gospel Mission. Um, staff got involved. Um, I left, and um, after leaving, after leaving, um, something happened with the plates. It, everything fell fell on the ground. Um, I left and went to um, to to Lonesdale Park. When I got to Lonesdale Park, um, they came out again, um, and I raised my voice and was saying, "Well, if you don't want me to call your queen a, a whore, then she shouldn't be coming out." to Gabriel Franklin, um, you know, doing the, the, the things that boarders do, you know, which is basically giving me oral sex and having sex with my body, but I'm not married to the woman, and she's been given permission to do that in the protection of the U.S. government. Um, so I addressed that issue, but I had raised my voice. They sent another, a second African American with his hands behind his back. I don't know if he had a weapon or not. Um, and he stepped up to me, and he says to me, after I was done, um, basically yelling, yelling it out, because I wanted them to hear me, because I was in the vicinity of the courthouse and the police department, um, and having called the police and explaining to them what happened, um, I said to them, um, I said to them, well, he asked me, do you know, he says to me, who are you? And I said to him, um, I don't remember what I said to him, but I walked away. It's like, you don't need to know. I, I don't remember my exact words to the man. Um, I, uh, I walked away and went to um, Director's Park. When I got to Director's Park, I was sitting there and um, sitting in one of the seats. They sent two Europeans um, to sit behind me, a couple uh, chairs away, and they started coming out. Um, them and another group of people started coming out and started talking behind, and um, they started insulting me, uh, telling me to go gay. I pulled out the Bible, and I said to them, the problem, um, your problem is not with me, but your problem is with God. And I said, your issue is not with me, your issue is this right here. You're, I didn't tell them what it is, but I just showed them this. I said, this is your issue, and this is your problem right here. Your problem is with the author of this book, um, which is God. And so you need to go talk to God, and you need to deal with your issue. In other words, I'm just a representative. I'm not the one that you, you, you have this issue with. It's him you have an issue with. Um, they, didn't, they didn't buy what I was saying. They continued. And then um, I don't remember what I said, but they ended up leaving. I left uh, the director's park and went to the uh, park blocks, um, Lou, to use the bathroom which is at the corner of uh, South of Columbia and, um, and 8th Avenue. Um, when I got there, I started using the loo. I was flushed the toilet, got up to use it one more time to urinate. And as I was waiting, this guy came out. I don't know who he was. He was wearing a green jacket. He had a skateboard. Very impatient man, pissed off. Um, he wanted me out of the loo right then and there. I don't know who sent him, but apparently somebody sent him because the man was, you know, angry enough to piss him, you know, to, he, he threatened to smoke me out, which I, I really think he meant that he wanted to kill me. Um, I don't know if he was with another group of people or who was with him. Um, I didn't see another group. I didn't look through the panel. Um, I basically talked through the whole thing. Um, and then out of nowhere, a cigarette butt came through um, the top of the, uh, the top of the, uh, the loo. And um, because it's raining here in Portland, so it extinguished really fast. Um, but then all of a sudden, my IKEA bag, which was about a not even a stone throw away, uh, he starts pissing inside of the loo. Um, and 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 I mean that was the rudest thing he could have done. I mean I think those guys. That's when my body started giving way and I started urinating. But he didn't want to wait. Um, so anyway, by the time I got out of there, he started walking away and. and um, away from the loo. I don't know what he looked like. I don't know who he was. But from a distance, I could see that he had a skateboard. He had a green jacket like I did. 
and he started walking like uh, Thomas J. Ford. Thomas was a, a man that I had known in, in, um, in Nanua High School. I haven't seen him in over 25 years. I've never had a complication with him. I've never had a problem with him. I, I don't know who he is. But there seems to be a, 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 a group of men in, in Portland that's either, that has the same resemblance as him, and they're representing him. And I don't know why they're doing that. And, it, and, I, and, it, it's, and they gave one guy an orange jacket or an orange shirt to wear. Um, I don't know if he's Hispanic or if he's white. I've never spoken to the man. But I think they were trying to use him to entice me um, so that Gabriel could come out. Um, I, I'm not exactly up with the, with the gay mentality. I, I don't really know what they're communicating. I don't really read into their, their community, so I, don't, I, I really don't know what they were trying to say um, with this man. I stayed away from him. I didn't talk to him. I didn't associate with him. Um, I didn't in, insult him, but, you know, it seemed like they, they wanted me to... to, to I, I'm not exactly sure what their intent was. Um, there were... Well, anyway, long story short, um, this guy comes out of, he, he leaves um, the loo alone, and then he starts roaming around the area, um, and so Melinda says, you know what, you need to call it in, because there seems to be a group of people in a vehicle waiting for you. Uh, I'm not sure how she knew about it. Um, I guess it's in the community. Um, then they started... Uh, then they, they gave me a warning that this is Nike Town. In other words, no one Kevin Ernst, true on woman, no. In other words, the gay community doesn't accept me, so I need to leave. You know, so they become like Seattle. Um, I, I don't know what the problem is with these people. They have no respect for the church. They have no respect for Christians. They have no respect for the Bible. They have no respect for God. Um, I have to call the police at least three or four times tonight. This is ridiculous. Anyway, long story short, um, I... Um, he and this other woman uh, came out of the uh, out of uh, out of Eighth Avenue, uh, out of South Eighth Avenue. Uh, he made a ride on Columbia. She continued down uh, North on Eighth Avenue. The police came up, and I spoke to them. And um, the police came up, and I spoke to them. There's another train. And. Um, But anyway, um, the police came up. I started talking to them. Those were the police officers I showed you that went around the corner. Um, they went around the corner and they left. I'm not exactly sure if they're going to be hanging around tonight, but after being approached about five or six times, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's me against an entire community of homosexuals, lesbians, trans people. And um, it's not like a one-on-one -on -one thing. It's a uh, it's a group of them. I don't know who the group is, but this is this is the uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, this is the, this is the train. The woman in there just threatened me, so I want to make sure that you get a, a glimpse of who that is. Uh, the train says last service stop, so I guess I don't know. She was saying I'm not afraid or anything. I think she might have been. Um, making fun or poking fun, and, and then when she went in there, I'm not exactly sure what she was doing, but for whatever it's worth. Uh, really interestingly, though, um, Melinda told me something that I'd never heard before, that the community, the gay community, chose three people, three men from Manuet. Um, Carmine Rivera from the group home, Thomas, uh, Thomas Sullivan from the, uh, from the RKO, the job, and uh, Thomas Ford from Manuet High School which are the three guys that, um, basically, I, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know any of them, um, outside of Nanuet. I haven't seen these people since high school, but apparently they were brought over to the West Coast to judge me, um, under the, uh, accusation of being a homosexual who never came out. Um, I guess one of them I'm supposed to have lusted, uh, after another one I supposedly had raped, and another one I supposedly had um, contact with. I'm not exactly sure. You know, none of this is up front to my face. Um, all of it is in, in the back of the community. Um, and this is what they've been communicating through the community for the last, I guess, 25 years. But behind them um, is Gabriel Franklin, um, Max Henry, and John MacArthur. And so those are the three people that those three, three men would be representing today. Um, and, and so behind each one is a person, uh, an elderly person that I'm dealing with on the issue of subordination. 
um, subjugation, and this is how they chose to do it tonight. Last night it was something else. Um, last night I was molested three times at the mission. The night before, I, I got a shot in the back here um, and, a, and a shot in the foot. Um, so every night it's something different that they're planning or they're carrying out to see, you know, what they need to do to bring me down. So I don't know what it's going to be later on tonight. I don't even know if I have enough time. I took too much time even now. Anyway, um, the last train just went by, and so uh, there's not going to be any more trains coming tonight. And uh, I was going to go down to Safeway and have something to eat, but I guess not. Um, anyway, that's, that's it. It is probably about 11.45 right now in the evening. And um, 